Sagala, who took out the unlimited Attitude Derby final. Congratulations to you. Thank you, I appreciate it. We've got a big audience here, a big <laughs> Venezuelan following by the looks of it. Yeah, we're a pretty good group here. We're a pretty good group of Venezuela here. And you're wearing the flag, very proud moment. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. This is the first time you won in the Will Rogers? Yes, this is the first time I got second two times before, but this is my first winning. I believe actually Venezuela's had a very strong presence at the last couple of shows here. Tell us a bit about that. That's correct. Uh, since the Futuri, David Torrell won after Nelson's and finally I got two. So this year has been a good year for us. So what's happening with all these Venezuelan cutters? I guess we're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about your run tonight. Can you describe us? Take us through your cows. Yeah. Uh, I was sitting up there with Lee and we was just talking about the run and right before I got in, I have the other mark, have a pretty good score, I was winning until that moment and we just tried to beat my score up and it worked out pretty good. Okay, it seemed pretty tough because there are a few zeros, quite a few low scores, so what was your strategy coming out? Just cut the cow and trying to be on top of uh, my horse so we don't miss a stop or anything like that. Now talking about your horse, tell us uh, a bit about it because you've trained this horse yourself. Yes ma'am. Uh, she was born and raised in the ranch. She's out of uh, so safari fever, one mare that gave me another horse, good horse, Sophie Ray. And we have this one and I've been training it. Um, it feels pretty good tonight. And her name is Safari Smoothcat, correct? Yes. Okay, and um, what do you think is the best part about showing her? What do you like about her? She's really smart with the cow, and I think I can ask her and she goes stop that cow. Now, Lee Francois has been helping you out a little bit? Yep, for a long time. <laughs> he's he's been the coach. What are some of the pointers he gives you? A lot. He beat me up every time, baby. <laughs> I guess tonight work out like we was waiting for a while. And tell us about the cows tonight. Do you sit there and watch the cows with him? Yep. Uh, every show I go, I sit with him and we watch the cows, try to figure it out we, what we like and try to cut clean and have a good run. Okay, so how did you get into cutting? I moved from Venezuela in 2009. I used to practice a sport in Venezuela that uh, was Coleo. And when I moved here, uh, the only sport that we, I liked it a lot, it was cutting, and my brother already was in it. So I started practicing with him and go through. So what are the plans now for you and this horse? Just keep showing. Try to win some more. Well, good luck with that. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.